All right. So for the next type of gate that we'll be looking at, we'll be looking at the fascinating gate. Fascinating gate. All right. So you can see how the fascinating gate is. The typical what definition of a fascination or fascinating gate in Parkinson's. It's mostly seen in Parkinson's. All right. So we get to look at this gate from definition, the characteristics, the causes, the diagnosis of this gate, and possible treatment okay, of the gate. So let's look at the definition. Um, fascination is a typical picture, although this one too. All right. Fascination is a type of walking abnormality and is often associated with Parkinson's disease. All right, so it is characterized by what? A small, rapid, shuffling steps. All right, so it's not really shuffling gait. This one is too small, all right? Very, very small. Okay, and there'll be forward leaning posture. All right, so a forward leaning posture is actually what differentiates this type of gait from shuffling gait. All right. So here are some key points about fascinating gait for characteristics. You'll be having short, rapid steps. The steps are very small and taken quickly. All right. Then um, forward leaning position. All right. This one. Uh, the person will lean forward, which can cause them to appear as if they are chasing their center of gravity. Okay. There'll be difficulties in starting and stopping movement, okay? So the person may have problems or trouble initiating movement, all right? So there'll be start hesitation and they'll stop once they start walking. So the difficulty is starting. And once you start, you want to stop, all right? Acceleration. The walking speed tends to increase uncontrollable. That's if they force themselves to walk. The, the speed might be uncontrollable and they might actually what fall, right? So, uh, yeah, okay, this it increases uncontrollable, often leading to a feeling of being out of control, right? Then there's reduced arm swing. So there's minimal or no arm swing while walking. Then causes, yeah, it could be what? Mainly Parkinson's disease, okay? So it's a Parkinson's disease, is a neurodegenerative disorder that affects dopamine producing neurons in the brain. Okay. Then other Parkinsonism syndromes. So conditions that are similar to Parkinson's disease, such as what multiple system HOV and progressive what supranuclear palsy, all of this can actually what cause this. Diagnosis, um, clinical observation. So like. Of course, somebody is having a fascinating gait. You are looking at them, you are knowing. Okay, you understand? Diagnosis is purely physical examination. Uh, so we access the person's gait, their posture, and their movement patterns. Okay, then neurological examination. This is where you are evaluating muscle tone, reflexes, coordination, and other signs of Parkinson's disease. Imaging studies can also help. Like MRI scan, CT scan, all of this can help to rule out other conditions. Okay. Treatment now. Of course, you know that is mainly caused by what? Parkinson's disease. So you are giving what dopaminergic medications, such as what level dopa or dopamine agonists. All of this is to help what manage the symptoms that the patient is having. Okay. I mean, the physical therapy, they are still doing one or two exercises just to improve their balance, strength, and coordination. Gait training, um, this is now basically some techniques just to improve walking patterns and reduce the freezing episodes that they usually would encounter. Assisted devices. Assisted walking devices like canes, walkers, or other devices can enhance stability and safety of the patient. Then deep brain stimulation. So a surgical procedure 
that can help to manage severe symptoms in some cases and all help in this okay so i think that's it for festinating gates in parkinson's disease